The IP Casino Resort and Spa's new sports book opened Thursday, just in time for Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah, that was our goal from day one to be open for the big game and kind of introduce the community to the new sports book, said IP Race and Sports Book director George Cole. Missing the excitement, of course, will be the Saints, and because of that, it may not be as good as it could have been. Throughout the football season, the days the Saints played and the money that was bet was always more on the Saints, said IP General Manager Duncan McKenzie. So, I'm certain it's going to impact the Super Bowl attendance and the attendance at the property as well. Despite that, McKenzie said Super Bowl betting has been going strong. We've been getting sports bets for teams that are going to make it into the Super Bowl since the day we opened. You know there's been odds about the different teams, he said. In a few months, I'm sure we'll be setting the odds about next year's Super Bowl. So, it's almost a year-round betting event. Saints fan and Louisiana resident Sherry Baker is still upset over the famous no call. The state of Louisiana will never get over that, she said. However, Baker has a backup. Now, we're all Tom Brady, she said with a laugh. The Patriots. Tyrone Stewart has no favorites, and his strategy for Super Bowl betting is simple. I try to look at it like who everybody's betting on, and if they're betting on one team, I'm betting the other way, he said. Yeah, I'm going against the majority. Patrick Lyons has his own method. My strategy is if I'm going to get paid, I want to get paid big, he said. So, I bet the long shots. He said he likes the Saints, but it's not keeping him from getting in on the action. I like the atmosphere around town and around the coast when the Saints are in it, he said. It upsets me the way they got cheated out of being in the Super Bowl, but I'll still watch the Super Bowl, I'll admit. The Super Bowl can be seen Sunday on WLOX-CBS with kickoff at 5.30 p.m.